Today, we're challenging each other to see who can set off a chain reaction to unleash this massive cloud. To win, all you gotta do is throw this ball. How hard could it be? Bam! Welcome to Ryan's world! Ah, you know, Peg, I'm glad you suggested we just take a break and look at the clouds. Yes, sometimes it's nice to relax and not have to worry about doing any lab experiments. You know, Dr. Ion, I don't think I've ever seen you without your lab coat on before. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen you outside of the lab. Yeah, and even when he is, he's usually out meeting people to do experiments with or making everything into an experiment. Yeah, yeah don't be silly. It's not like I'm always looking for science experiments to do. Look at that cloud over there. It kind of looks like a star. Oh, and that one looks rather like a face. You know, I've always kind of wondered how clouds get made. What? That's a really good scientific question, Gil. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh, Gil. Now you've done it. To explore this topic, we'd better head back to the lab for an experiment. Let's get Ionic. Ugh. Feels great to be back in the lab. I mean, nature's great and all, but who can resist doing experiments on a day like this? Yeah, who can resist? Today, we're gonna explore how clouds are made. And to do this, we'll be making our own cloud in this very lab with this bot. In there? That's gonna be one small cloud. I guess you're right. We'll need a bigger bottle. There we go. Now, if you're trying this experiment at home, make sure there's an adult to help you out. So, along with this bottle, we'll also need a bike pump. <laughs> we'll also need a stopper. Huh, there we go. And a really interesting chemical called isopropyl alcohol. Now, make sure it's at least 70%. Dude, hang on. Don't want to forget your safety glasses. You're right. There we go. Thanks, Gil. All right, first things first, we're gonna grab our bottle and add some isopropyl alcohol to it. Not too much though. Something interesting about isopropyl alcohol is that it's very volatile, meaning it can easily evaporate under normal temperatures. So, as I swirl this around, this liquid isopropyl alcohol turns into a gas and rises up into the air, filling this water bottle. See you uh, I don't see any gas in there, man. The isopropyl alcohol gas is so small and spread out that we can't see it. Next, add the stopper to the bottle. With our bike pump, we are going to insert it through the stopper like so. And I'm gonna need someone to hold the bottle for me. Ah, thank you. Start pumping some air into it to increase the air pressure. Now, air pressure is when air pushes things around it. As the air pressure increases, the bottle will increase in temperature as well. Yeah, dude, I can say the pressure in that bottle is cooking. So what happens if the pressure drops? Great question, Gil. Ooh, I need a break. So when the pressure drops, the temperature gets cooler, and this turns the gas back into a liquid. We call this process condensation. Whoa! Look at all the liquid. This is condensation. Eureka! We got a cloud in a bottle. Whoa! We did it! We made an actual cloud right here in the lab. But how does it work? When the air pressure dropped and the temperature got cooler, all that water vapor changed from a gas back into tiny little droplets. This happens in nature when the water vapor floats too high in the sky, all those water droplets need somewhere to go. They cling to little particles in the air. So when a bunch of these droplets and particles come together, they make clouds. That's awesome. But uh, Dr. Ayan, can we maybe get back to checking out some, you know, out door clouds now? Say, Gil, you've just given me an idea. Let's go. All right, now that we know how clouds are formed, I think it's a great time to put our cloud building skills to the ultimate test. Ooh, we talking a challenge? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we're professionals. So if you want to try this at home, make sure there's a grown up around to help you out. 
All right, so here are the rules of the challenge. Each contestant will throw a ball and try to hit this bucket, which is filled with really hot water. If anyone manages to hit the bucket, it'll topple and fall into this bucket, which is filled with a really cold substance called dry ice. Well, what happens next? Let's find out. All right, guys, come on in. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one, go. Uh, we're awful at this. Oh, we're not doing very well. I'm missing. Oh, we're never going to get it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow, what a good shot. That was magical. But who did it? Look. Oh, hey, it's me, Cowboy Jack. Hey, I saw you fellas were having a hard time hitting that target. I thought I could lend a helping hand. Whoa. Nice to meet you, Cowboy Jack. Hey, nice to meet you guys, too. Say, Doc, that was really impressive. How'd you set off that cloud? Well, when the boiling hot water touched the cold, dry ice, it instantly produced vapor, which clung onto the particles in the air, resulting in a giant cloud. It's basically the same exact experiment that Gil and I did earlier, but bigger and rapid fire. Dude, that ruled! I thought I just wanted to chill and watch some normal clouds today, but this was way better. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this experiment, everyone. And thank you, Mr. Cowboy Jack, for helping us. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd he go? Magic. Oh, it's real. Now we are on our way to the grocery store because a storm is coming. So now we have to go to grocery shop shopping to see if we can find some water and milk and food, right? And we got two food left. Oh, two food left at home? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so we're at the canned food section. And hey, what's going on, Ryan? There's not a lot of cans. Yeah. Well, look guys, the shelf is pretty much emptied out. This is crazy. Okay. All right, so here's another section. It is also empty. There's hardly any canned food left. So, <laughs> let's go see if there's other stuff. All right, so this is the macaroni and cheese section here. And they pretty much cleared it out. Look at this, like there's no macaroni and cheese left. Barely any left. Like this many. I know. And it looks so messy because people were digging through it. Bring it by the jelly. 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 So if you guys don't know, Ryan's singing the song from the Combo Panda gaming First channel. Video. Yeah, Ryan likes that channel. So if you guys like Roblox and haven't checked it out yet, you should go and check out Combo Panda and join the Combo Crew. Oh, and here's another crazy section that everybody wants. Look at this. Right. Oh, there's a craft egg and those are open. It is emptied out and everybody's picking through the egg. They, these are the only egg left. Somebody just like took an egg out and this egg is cracked and <laughs> Look at this, they just crack open eggs. All right, so this is the orange juice section, if you can tell. It's also kind of cleared out. I guess people want to stock up on orange juice I for the hurricane. I need orange juice, I want orange juice right now. There's orange juice, Ryan. But let's check out the milk. I, I bet a lot of people are getting milk. Can <laughs> we stop the milk? So this is the milk section. It looked a lot better than it did when I went yesterday. So I'm so glad they did restock a little bit. But you guys can tell all is left is 2%. Where are all the whole milks at? All right, let's go over there. The milk that we usually get is gone. What are these? Oh no, all it has left is fat free milk. All it has left is skim milk. Where are all the regular milks at? It's gone. <laughs> Everybody took the regular milk, Ryan. All right, so this is even more crazy. Do you even know what this section is supposed to be? Yes. What? The water section. This is supposed to be the water section, and it's completely emptied out. Look, all the water is like gone. Water left. I know. This whole section is like supposed to be water. And then here's the checkout section. There's people everywhere. 
so the good news is that at home we did have some water left but we needed some milk and all we had is two containers of milk yeah, yeah, yeah. so today is the day of the big storm here and still roll a dice one. one ryan and daddy is playing a hex bug game oh, the twins are ahead. here just watching ryan you just guys are just watching we have our flashlight handy just in case the oh. lights turn yeah, I probably want to save some batteries, so I probably want to turn it off. There you oh, wow. go. Let me, let me show you guys what outside looks like. So outside, it is starting to rain. We can see the weather is, looks like it's all cloudy. So tonight is the big storm, so we'll see what happens tonight. Do all this. Do all this. Push Ryan's out of the circle, please. Yes. No, more, it's more. still on it. More, 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 more. Please, so the please. object of the game is they're trying to get their three bugs from that side to this side. Ryan is green. He only needs one more hop. Oh, no. Daddy is orange. I'm on four right now. Oh, so push it, push it, push it. Oh. See, so if the bug pushes you out of the circle, you gotta start all over. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. So close. If that bug pushes Ryan's green one out of the circle, he has to start all over. So we weren't looking, but the bug right now pushes Ryan all the way out. Oh. Yes. You start can start from, from the, the start, start from the beginning. No, 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 no. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> She's like, I'm getting away from here. <laughs> now we're just hanging out and Ryan's playing with the twins. Making them laugh, being a good brother. You want to play Lego? Okay, here. You all right? I like to fart and play. What? <laughs> all right, now the twins are going to just play Lego. Hi, uh, there's water leaking from the top of the doors. Can you see? Yeah, like so. Like a little bit on the top, but on the window. So it started raining a little bit more and look what's happening to our house. It is dripping from the top. I don't know what happened. So strong. So now it's wet there, it's leaking. So it's dripping down. That's why we put an outfit. Yeah, we put a towel there. And this is what's happening on the outside. Let me, take, let me show you guys. It's just raining. You guys see the rain? Raining. Uh, hey girl, be careful before, be careful Kate. There's water on the bottom, so that's why we have to put a towel there. <laughs> be careful, you're gonna slip, okay? I know it's raining outside, I know. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much for putting a towel there. Hi, Kate. So Emma and Kate are on the crazy poop here. Woohoo! Uh oh, okay. I'm gonna get you, Katie Kate. Are you ready? Uh oh. You backing up, Kate? You backing up? Boo! <laughs> are you ready, Emma? Are you ready, Emma, to push Kate? Are you ready? Ooh. Boo! Want me to help you? Want me to help you? Here. There you go. There you go. There you go, baby. There you go. Hi. Hi. Crash. Crash. Okay, I'm gonna get you. Oh my gosh, the fence is broken. Oh, 
Oh my God, the trampoline. The trampoline just flew. The trampoline is stuck on the side of the wall. That's what happened to our trampoline. So Emma and Kate's now drinking milk. We got some of our lights going. We also got a lightsaber just in case. Turn it off, turn it off. Okay, okay, so we're gonna turn it off. Okay, Ryan's like, I'm just gonna just use the lightsaber. <laughs> what do you do with the lightsaber? Ryan's gonna get some bad guys just in case they come. Yeah, our, our fence broke. Yeah, our fence broke out there, so. Have you guys ever seen a lightsaber before? <laughs> She's like, I'm not scared of a lightsaber. 